And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and we're going to check out this super cool pedal from VS Audio today. This is the Royal Flush. Yes. Uh, and big thank you to VS Audio all the way in Greece for sending this out to us. Hey, guys. Uh, killer pedal. Um, yep. Yeah, love the graphics. So my little backstory, very quickly, right? Mm. I think it was years ago I saw Eirik from Living Room Gear Demos do a video on it. Let's just say that video is here. And I lo just loved the way it looked. I always kind of liked the way it looked. And I think he was kind of comparing it to a King of Tone. He's, Eirik is a King of Tone user as well. And he was sure. kind of looking at it, comparing it to a King of Tone. Yeah. And I always kind of had a thing for this pedal. And when they, when guys from VS Audio contacted us about the Blackbird, mm. which you can watch here. You know, That's a cool the Blackbird, Which is a really cool pedal. Yeah. I sort of mentioned, oh, you know, interesting. Because I, I kind of always had a bit of a thing for the Royal Flush. And they just sent us one. So big thank you sending that to us didn't ask for it they just sent it to us yeah um so we'll do the video it kind of has this producery kind of half like two yeah. two kind of elements going on yeah. with the graphics yeah uh it is a dual stage pedal uh more of an overdrive distortion low gain distortion on the left and a colored boost i guess you call it on the right yeah with some gain as there's, well there's some gain going on um cool so the setup today yep uh, pedal going into a Mozatronics amp switcher Andrew. by Andrew and a Cherry Tone OTS MIDI 20 set pretty clean. Racing Stripe. And a Cherry Tone, uh, sorry, the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. In it IRs. Doesn't, doesn't stumble usually. That was one of the first times you've done that. That's that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cab Sims. Yeah, with a bit of reverb too. And um, that's the setup. So mm -hmm. um, Into your phone. Yep. Into your ears while sitting on the toilet. So. Well then, bunking off on work. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Uh, yeah. How about you start? You've got I've got high output pickups. Sure. So, so let's start with let's just start off with uh, with the right side. Yep. Uh, everything and I don't know how good this will come across in the video, but um, it's black on black the lines on this. But at the moment everything is at twelve o'clock. I think in the last video it actually looked you could see it more than I thought you could see it. So okay. hopefully you can see. It. Uh, clean tone, uh, B minor. So there's a bit of gain there, but there's a bit of volume there too. So actually, if you turn a gain down and oh. just crank the volume a bit, uh, and it just gives you that nice tone, which is quite a nice... I'll play with the tone control as well. Mm, it could be an always-on thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. that you know with the gain at what like at almost nine o'clock ten o'clock mm. um the volume boosted a little bit and the tone boosted a little bit uh and it's quite a dynamic yep. thing as well so peak dynamic so and and volume control on the guitar yeah um, and how hot your pickups are yeah, yeah, yeah. these are kind I mean, of medium singles we'll go to very hot pickups in a second yeah. so just to hear the difference yeah sick should we um check out some overdrive okay Everything at 12 o'clock again. So that's their, what they call a creamy, rich, tube-like, tube-amp-like overdrive. Mmm, cream. Cream-tastic. <laughs>
still no definition there when it's blown out and and I mean I cracked so both sides yeah. have a fair bit of volume on it too so you can boost yep. um, the front end of the amp too so I had volume and gain on full on that Rock. Um, but it ha I like it has a nice EQ mm -hmm. um, it, it's sort of when you just go a little bit above 12 o'clock sort of 1 o'clock kind of just sort of opens up yeah. and, and turns lovely do you want to, while you've got that guitar, should we try one going into the other one? Sure. So let's find a spot that you like on the overdrive. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah, it's kind of rocky, modern country thing. You could okay, do. so Easy. let's see if we can boost that. We should try to do actually quickly. Yep. Let's get three different sounds. So we've got a, like a lower gain, a bit higher gain, and then a, the the both. So what about like there somewhere for this? Then we got a bit more here. Probably for you more gain than you'll ever use, wouldn't it? Uh yeah, especially in the morning after <laughs> after we've just had breakfast. <laughs> um but yeah, I mean three quite distinct gain stages there mm. in the one pedal. And they marry nicely. Do you want to go with the ability? Okay. The uh Fano on this MG6. Uh beautiful guitar, love this guitar. Much, much higher up pickups, which sound like this. It's the same setting in a boost. <laughs> So that's to me, yeah, that's a sort of mild overdrive rhythm guitar. That was an interesting chord. That's a, that sounds great. It's big rocks. It's a cool sound. Uh, I mean, it, it it does remind me of King of Tone World. Sure. Um, which is probably why I like it a lot because it is something I'm quite familiar with. Familiarity, yeah. I'm a King of Tone snob, so you know. It um, definitely has some great note definition. Note definition, yeah. I mean, even with both. Oh come on! Don't 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 don't, don't be lame. You didn't turn even it, notice. Turn it up a bit more. <laughs>
Like super dissonant chords. Sure was. What the hell was that? <laughs> that? Yeah. It's some sort of diminished -y kind of thing, but with lots of open strings. I think it's a Stone Temple Pilots chord. Right. So it's diminished with benefits. Lots of benefits, yeah. Right. Um, been going through a bit of a Stone Temple Pilots thing lately. Oh, cool. Just because we yeah. talked about it in the podcast that I was on. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Stripe? Sure. That was an interesting chord too. It's a major minor. That's actually a thing. Uh, but that, but that, um, instantly I find. I mean, I always joke about, you know, yes. strats being very weak guitars, which they are, in my opinion. But as you turn a boost on instantly, it just gives you that fuller, thicker, richer sound. Yeah, more poke. Yeah. <laughs> everything Everything full, but I think because there's a lot of volume there too, it's also actually boosting the front end of the amp. So it's not Definitely. just all the drives, it's not just from that. But that sounded great. It's cool, hey? Just everything on full. Uh, okay. Everything on full. Um, uh, overdrive side. I mean, it was both sides on full. Rock. That was a lot there. That was a lot. That was a lot going on. So, Do you mean? Go okay. for authentic Les Paul. Totally authentic, not uh, Les Paul. This is uh, Les's brother Gary, Gary Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an old Greco uh, from 1978. There's a view for it here. Uh, it was sort of a bitter guitar, and I put other bits on it, uh, including some Fishman Fluence classic humbuggers, which are lovely. And big thank you to Ken Susie and all the lovely people at Fishman for sending that to me. And I really, I, I love the way it sounds actually, this guitar, and clean on the bridge pickup, it sounds like this. Let's stick to Stone Temple Pilots. Right, just that. I mean, you need for standard parts, you need a bit more gain, but but well, it's the swappies. Mm -hmm. 
Almost, I know that's not the kind of thing I usually say, but it's almost too much for this. I should back the boost off the front end of it. Got my first drill sick in a different key, but it doesn't matter. That sounds great, but let's hang on, let's do this. It pairs well with that guitar. Let's do this where it should be. Yo. I like that sound, that sounds good. A lot of gain, a lot of note definition. Let's do that cool chord again. I like it. Cool. I like it. I think it's a good pedal. It's really good pedal. Seventies hard rock with that mid range. Yeah. And the yeah, last yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it yeah it did remind me a bit. It it gives me a sturdy vibe for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I like it. I think it's a good. Uh, both this one and the Blackbird, they they have something. It's hard to sort of put your finger really on it yeah. what it is, but there's something about them. It just sounds really nice. It's this classiness. Yeah. Classinessness. Classi classicity. Cl cl yeah, classicity level. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I, I like the artwork. I like the packaging of them. I think they're, they're nice pedals. It's a cool thing. Hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah, let us know. Have yeah. you tried a Royal Flush? Or oh, there's also the Straight Flush. Yeah. Which is a single pedal. And I think it's uh, just got a toggle switch to go between either the more boosty side or the more driven side. Mm. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Let, let us know down below comments also below there's links to our instagram facebook and podcast please check them out we've got some time good stuff uh yeah and big thank you to um vs audio again for sending this out to us really uh, enjoyed it yeah both pedals really really thoroughly enjoyed both pedals so um check them out check out some more videos of uh the vs audio stuff definitely cool thanks for hanging see you soon